So, how many times have you noticed this? The traffic light will be red, all the traffic, all the lanes will be blocked up, and yet coming from behind will be an ambulance or a fire truck or a police with their sirens blaring trying to get through. Actually, I saw this yesterday in Sydney. Um, a, a fire truck, with you know, sirens blaring, had to go to the opposite side of the road so it could get past all the cars waiting at the red light. This can be fixed easily, guys. I remember reading somewhere that Uber actually has a quicker response time than most ambulances, and that's really depressing considering the faster you know, emergency services get to you, the more likely they are to save your life. So obviously it would be much better if like the entire roads ahead of all the emergency services was completely clear, void of cars and they could go at full speed without stopping. Well it's not very hard to imagine how to do that, all you need to do is hook up all the traffic lights in the entire, I guess, nation up to a single system, either a closed system or to the internet itself. So security and hacking concerns aside, now you have the ability to change those lights um, as, as required. You can have an AI system kind of change them as needed, you can make them variable, you can do all sorts of stuff. So imagine a call or a request comes in for an emergency service, that GPS location of where the, the emergency services need to go is, is tagged, and the system knows that. Then just like Uber, it finds the nearest available uh, truck, the nearest available response team, and it knows their GPS location as well. And then you just take the shortest path between those two points, like what is the shortest path to get the emergency response team to where they're required. And now if you have an AI system, like it doesn't have to be fully conscious, you know, amazing AI, just a narrow AI system that basically says, holy crap, we need an emergency response, this is the route needed to go, let's clear it all. And since that AI has control of all the lights, it can basically like stop anyone coming across that path, it can clear all traffic through that path to make them all green, and then just like basically clear it. Easy. This seems like a very simple solution to a very persistent problem that would literally save lives. To me, it looks primitive when I see like emergency services having to wait at lights for traffic to clear. I know in the US a lot of the emergency services vehicles have these RF like radio frequency boxes which basically like pair up to the lights and make them all go green. But then, you know, just average people buy them to hack the system. It might cost hundreds of millions of dollars to actually connect all the lights in Australia or in, in your country up to a central service. And there's obviously security issues and all that, but it would literally save lives. Plus that same system could actually be used to optimize traffic and uh, reduce congestion because it basically becomes like an AI machine driven uh, traffic management platform for the entire city and country. That system might work out by itself that leaving the green light on at a particular intersection at a particular time of day on a, on a particular day for say 20 seconds longer actually improves congestion by 20%. And this whole idea is really just looking at cars as the main medium, as the main vehicle for emergency responses. I actually think drones should be the, the primary medium for emergency response. Like if I'm having a heart attack or I'm losing blood or my life's in danger in some way, I don't really want to rely on some human driving through other human traffic to get to me to save my life in time. It would be much better if the biometric monitoring that's on me all, at all times, maybe it's a wristband or something or an implant, uh, it notices I'm losing blood or I'm having a heart attack and it requests emergency assistance immediately. It knows my GPS location. At the moment it knows that something's up, it sends the nearest drone instantly. It, it takes off instantly, flies to my location and starts assisting. Initially, these emergency response drones would basically fly to your location and they'd have an inbuilt first aid kit as well as an emergency response kind of a uh, call. So you could actually talk to this drone and you're talking to a human on the other end. So imagine the drone lands nearby and someone's speaking through it and you can talk to them, some expert on the other end. Um, so they kind of like talk through whoever's there to help you, to assist, or you can do it yourself, whether it's bandages or whatever. Ultimately, these emergency response drones will feature advanced robotics. They'll actually able, will be able to administer first aid on the spot as well as minor surgeries. That's pretty intense. So how do we get the government to connect all the traffic lights into a smart grid so that emergency services can get to where they need to get to very quickly to save lives? And what do you think is the future of emergency services? Our future.